Lucknow Super Giants visit Kolkata Knight Riders for their last league outing. They know a win will put them in the playoffs. If they lose, they will have to wait and watch on Sunday. KKR mathematically are alive, but they'll need a miracle of permutations and combinations to make the top four. Tom Moody and Sanjay Mandrake are with us to build up to that game. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Uh, Sanjay, in their last outing against Mumbai, Lucknow used Deepak Huda as opener. He's only made 69 runs in 11 innings with eight single-digit scores. Are you sticking with him as the opener for Quinton de Kock if you're keeping the same overseas mix of players? Actually, that move made a lot of sense also because Huda was their big player to begin with, with the season and completely out of sorts and that happens to certain batters. And it's not that he has not batted at the top, he's batted open the innings for India. He also had a 100 in Ireland batting in the top, I think, three. So it's a position that he is familiar with. Maybe happy memories will come back, you know, going right at the top of the order. And somebody who likes the ball coming on to him because on slow pitches, I don't think he's, the batter is going to hit the ball out of the ground. Uh, so he needs the ball to come on to him a bit like Ajinkya Rahane. So uh, if you've made that big move and there is some creating logic to it, maybe one more game they could persist with Huda at the top. Throughout this season, we've often thrown you the question around the batting position of Marcus Stoinis and Nicholas Puran and how late they're entering. Considering they play at a very high scoring venue, should they reconsider where Stoinis and Puran enter the batting? Without a doubt. I, I think this is a high scoring ground, we know that, and both those players are in some good form, you know, particularly Stoinis after that last innings, um, you know, it was as good a knock he's played in the IPL, so he's running high on confidence. Um, you know, I don't think they need to enter in the power play, but certainly as soon as that power play is done, I'd have both them lined up ready to go um, because they need to maximise uh, their uh, power hitting and their six hitting ability because it is a venue that the, you know, the six number is a very high number and they're their best six hitters. Uh, from the KKR perspective, uh, on their bowling front, it's the spinners who've carried them through the seasons. A lot of the Pacers have had seasons to forget. Most notably, Shardul Thakur, who's only bowled 19 overs in 10 games. He was obviously that big transfer, 10.75 crore value. What have you made of Shardul Thakur's season and how Shardul Thakur, the bowler, has been used? Uh, I can understand KKR using him more as a batting all-rounder these days. Uh, it's a thing that has become second nature to Shardul Thakur. Uh, you know, when, his, when he started off his T20 career, uh, he used to be expensive and something that all captains accepted, but he had this ability to get you wickets and get you back in the game. Couple of wickets and suddenly your team is back, but his economy rate used to be quite high. Now it's almost become like a certainty that when Shardul Thakur bowls, three or four overs, there's going to be one or two big overs and that's a gamble. Uh, not too many captains are willing to take a match after match. I think one, is, one of his more economical spells may have come in the last game itself. So I like the fact that they're using Shardul Thakur, the batter, uh, now batting him down the order and giving him the three, four overs and depending on the form that he is in. Uh, he is an interesting you know, talent. There's obviously something there in the way he bows. He might play the World Test Championship final as well and pick up four or five wickets. He's got a six or seven wicket haul in South Africa. So he's that kind who's uh, very difficult to handle. MS had a handle on him, but I think KKR are still trying to work out. So I don't see them doing anything wrong with the way so far that they've handled Shardul. A look at his matchups against uh, the Lucknow batters threw up some bizarre revelations. He's dominated pretty much every batter you can think <laughs> of in that Lucknow lineup. Now, when you are sitting as a coach uh, and you see a bowler who's not had a great season, but has a string of matchups, not just one player, but a lot of players. How much does that influence your thinking going into a game like this? It gives you a, a thread of hope mm. that you might get more than two overs out of him. You might get, you know, a full set of four. Um, and I agree with Sanjay. I think he's turning more into, this is just in T20 cricket, more as a, a batsman that is going to be a support bowler against, you know, you can rely on his four overs as a banker and he's going to be an impact player for the last, a batter for the last three or four overs. Um, I think, if anything, his batting is going to give you a little bit more consistency of return. He's, he's, he's an interesting bowler because he does take wickets in all formats of the game. You, you just wonder how he's done it. But he's obviously got something in his action 
and every now and then he just gathers pace off the wicket and surprises, you know, the odd batsman, and that's how he's picking up his wicket. So he's, he's clearly got a skill which is unique, but you need to be prepared to suffer the consequences of a cool. high, you know, um, run rate uh, on, um, on, on, the other, on, the other flip, on the other flip side. Right, so then KKR LSG, who are you leaning towards? Uh, LSG is starting to look good. And Stoinis and Puran will be celebrating getting away from home <laughs> because that pitch has been difficult for these kind of batters. So Eden Gardens is actually a home for you know, a lot of the Lucknow batters because they're big. Uh, you know, the game-changing batters are all overseas batters. You've got Puran, there, you've got Stoinis, you've got Quinton Dickock and all. All of them like pace coming on. So I see Lucknow Super Giants is a very dangerous side now Now that they have left the comforts of their home. So I, I'm going with them. Uh, yeah, I'm Super Giants for this one. I just think they've got too many, um, too many things in their favour at that venue. Yeah, they have won four of their six away games so far. Another one, and Lucknow will get to book a playoff spot for the second time in as many seasons after entering the IPL.